The space pen can write in zero gravity, which is why astronauts have used it. It also writes underwater, in extreme heat or cold, or when held upside down. All this is possible due to the pen's ingenious design that keeps ink flowing toward the tip no matter what. The space pen's ink is pressurized with nitrogen, so unlike ordinary ballpoints, it doesn't rely on gravity to flow toward the tip. Invented in 1966, the pen first went into space with the Apollo 7 astronauts. The pen's writing point starts out as a three-tenths of an inch long block of stainless steel. It passes through more than a dozen machining operations that progressively shape a point, then bore a hole through the tip to form a pocket for the carbide steel ball. That makes this a ball point. The last station inserts the ball and curves the edges of the pocket inward so that the ball is locked in, yet can rotate to spread ink. The replaceable ink cartridge, called the refill, begins as an empty brass tube. This assembly machine inserts a white plastic ball into the back end, then pumps in half a gram of ink. The white ball is called the float. Its job is to follow the ink down the tube, moving residual ink forward toward the point. Next, the machine inserts the writing point into the opposite end of the tube. Then it crimps the end to ensure the writing point can't dislodge. Back to the other end of the tube now, the machine applies a bit of sealant. Injects nitrogen to pressurize the refill, then caps the tube with a hollow brass plug. Nitrogen is ideal for pressurizing because it's an inert gas that doesn't harm the refill tube or its contents. This demonstration shows how the pressurized nitrogen forces the ink flow. After subjecting each and every refill to a writing test, and washing the surface to remove traces of machine lubricant and other residues, a printer applies the company name and product information on the refill. Certain space pen models have a cap that fits over the writing point. A feeder places a brass cap on each spoke of the cap assembly machine, which then pushes the cap into position to receive a clip. The clip is stamped out of spring steel, a fairly flexible metal, it's chrome-plated for corrosion resistance and aesthetics. The machine drives the clip's teeth through the wall of the cap, then curls them back toward the inside of the wall, locking the clip in position. To prepare the two-part brass body of the pen, a feeder drops the bottom part, called the barrel, onto each spoke of the barrel assembly machine. To straighten the writing end, the machine inserts a brass reinforcement piece called the nose tip. It then crimps the end, flaring the nose tip inside the barrel, so that it becomes wider than the barrel opening and therefore can't slip out. This model has a chrome-plated brass body and clipless cap. To begin assembling the pen, workers place the barrel in a foam holder, insert a spring to keep the refill in position, then a threaded connector made of brass. The barrel goes through a machine which puts a silicone rubber O-ring on the top edge of the barrel. And now, the final assembly. They place a refill in the barrel, insert the connector into the top half of the body. Then, with an electric motor, thread the parts together. After placing the cap open side up in a foam holder, they insert the pen. The O-ring holds the cap in place. The original space pen, still in production, has a push button on top to push out the refill and another on the side to retract it. This demonstration pen has a cutaway section to show the inner workings. All space pen models can write underwater and in zero gravity. They also work in freezing cold, intense heat, and upside down.